today? Kombucha. Some of you seen me do the unboxing of the kombucha shop kit that I bought. So basically, this is round two and I didn't do a first one because obviously I kind of wanted to have a clue what I was doing at first. I'm not saying I'm an expert by any means. As I want to say this is second batch. So some of you watching this probably don't even know what kombucha is. It's basically fermented tea and you flavored it. Supposed to have probiotics, all that wonderful stuff, but kind of learned to like the taste of it. It's available commercially. So when I stumbled across it, I started a course, like always, doing some research and found out that a lot of people make it yourself. So here we are. Gonna do a second batch. Kind of want to show you what I got. We're gonna do a gallon batch again. So what do we basically need to do this? Some kind of a pot. This one is. How big is this one? This one's three quart. Uh, reality could use a little smaller one, but I got a four cup pot or bigger than this one. I don't have in between. I need to kind of look for one of those. But to get started, I, I did a basic direction sheet too. That's kind of there. That is actually modeled off of the kombucha shop stuff. But I kind of wanted to try to recreate this for somebody that said, hey, I want to buy their stuff. I want to do this all on my own. Or I have a friend that's going to give me a peck, uh, I'll never say it, a peck style or a scooby and go from there. And so that's what I wanted to kind of do today. I'm going to give you a rundown. I'll probably push this on the website so you have that if you want to try this. Again, this isn't perfect, but it's modeled off of theirs. And I, I think their kit's worth it. I'm impressed so far. I don't think it can go wrong, but kind of wanted to do it. Hey, if I want to try it without buying a kit, what do I need? How do I do this? So to start off, I got the kombucha shop jar, obviously. That's a one gallon jar. And, well, I don't really say that, but if you look at the kit, that's basically what this guy is. We need some kind of glass container. Uh, it could it doesn't have to be a jar. It could be something from the thrift store, as long as it's glass or ceramic I've seen other people use. So we're just going to kind of get into that. What else do we need? I did buy some tea blend from them because Kind of on my second shot, I wanted to use their stuff, organic sugar. I don't think that's necessary. I've been on forums too. I think you're probably lifting tea from the grocery store. Would probably just be fine. I think the next kombucha video I do, I'll probably try to do kombucha cheap as possible. And we'll go from there. But to do this, we basically need what? Three prime or well, four prime ingredients. Some tea. This one's loose leaf. That's why it's in this little guy. So I need three teaspoons. Uh, one cup of sugar. Yeah, that's organic fancy sugar from them. Again, I just wanted to kind of try this again. And our culture. And this guy should have had a little more uh, sweet tea on top of it, but I'm going to pull that apart. I'll show you that on camera. And hopefully he's still good or it. And what's interesting though is, is every time you do this, if any of you watch this, they actually basically a mama kombucha and an, or mama scooby or peck up peck sill or something as a proper term and they regrow one so i'm going to pull that apart we're going to keep this for a, what they call a scooby hotel and start building a little bit of those in case they only they only last so long before they kind of lose their life i guess and you can trim them and everything like that but we're going to get going with that but in the meantime i want to kind of get started so following my directions like i say which i kind of took off the kombucha shop we have four cups of filtered water, and I'm gonna eventually do what with that? I'm gonna put that in there here. So I'm just gonna put that over on the stove. So I got that over on the stove. This is actually, they say filtered water. I do have water in my fridge, so I've just been pulling it off of that. And this is a four cup measuring glass measuring cup. I think that works really well, so I've been using that, trying to simplify all this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this over and start this. So all I did over there was dump my water into it. And like I say, that's a three quart kettle or pot. I think a, a quart and a half maybe or two quart would be ideal for this. Even a little a spout on the end, but I haven't found one yet. As soon as I find one, I'll probably move to that. This works fine for now. So in the meantime, in that pot, we're going to bring the four cups of water to a boil. Then we're going to put tea into it. And since I'm using loose tea, and like I say, you can use bags if you go on the internet. 
there are kind of, there is a conversion piece and I, I don't own that so I don't know if I want to put that on my website I think it's probably fine but if you go looking for it kombucha basics or kombucha conversion it should come up and not a little bit I'm gonna put in here So I, I don't necessarily know if this is better or worse or anything, but you're, you're basically taking loose tea and putting it in a little cotton tea bag, which I, I suppose is fine. That's the way the kombucha store does it. Like I say, I think I'm the next one. I'm going to do tea on the cheap, so or kombucha on the cheap. So I'm going to try to just going to use white sugar, and I'm just going to use probably Lipton tea because that's readily available in my neck of the woods, and I'm just going to use tea bags. And I'll give you the conversion then. Like I say, I know there's a chart, but I don't know if I can really give that out if it's copyrighted or not. So we're not going to do that. So I got my tea film. On my glass jar, this one from Kombucha Shop, you can kind of see those lines, tell you the ideas of it, which is kind of nice, brew notes. But they send you a wet erase a marker. You can buy those too. So I, you don't really need their jar, but I don't think their kit was too bad. I think the basic kit with all bottles and all the funnel is like around 45 bucks. The kit that I show in the unboxing video is around 75 bucks, but you get their jar, you get a temperature thing, you get a nice little stainless steel funnel. You get one of these guys to go over the top of your jar. You get one tea bag. You get enough to make one batch of kombucha. And they give you a live Pexil or Scooby or Culture, I guess is the easy way to say it. So they get you going. Um, the kit had really good reviews, so I think it's a good way to start. But I want to start moving past it. Obviously, I'm not going to keep buying kits. I don't need 20 a million of these jars. So I just kind of wanted to get to this and show you what we're going to do, how we're going to do it. Like the next kombucha video I do for you all, it might be a tasting one or something like that. But I really are bottling one. But I really want to do in the near future a kombucha on the cheap. I'm going to see what I can find for a glass jar on Amazon or something like that or thrift store. It just needs to be a gallon jar. I'll probably use this one again because I'm not going to probably buy another one. But ingredients wise, I think tea bags and yeah, my water is boiling already. So bear with me here a second. I'm going to steep this. And I'm just double checking my directions. I got five to seven minutes. So I'm going to set my tea bag in there and letting it steep. One thing I don't like about that three quart kettle, it's a little bigger than I like so my tea bag don't sit in there quite right. But going back to what I was saying, I think you can do this rather cheap way. Uh, sugar is cheap right now. I don't really think you need organic sugar. So if I get a, I mean that's only a cup of sugar. I mean you could buy a pound of sugar for what? I don't know, a couple bucks or three pounds of sugar. Tea bags, Lipton tea bags, or your favorite kind. What again? Two, three dollars. So I'm pretty confident you can even make a gallon of kombucha for a couple bucks um, once you buy the stuff to do it. Where is your typical jar or uh, bottle of kombucha at the store from the commercial stuff? Is what two to three? Well, two fifty, three dollars a small bottle. And of course, I'm not considering flavoring into that, but a lot of people use juice, so. You're relatively cheap again i'm gonna say easy make a gallon of this for under five bucks but you're gonna yeah there's some work involved but easily net six bottles of the regular so i mean you're basically paying for two bottles and you're getting four bottles free plus you get to do it yourself and there's other ways of doing this but like i say i'm just starting out so i'm steeping my tea i got that timer going and once that's done I'll basically add my sugar and I'll add it into that. So we do have a little intermission, but I want to kind of talk to you about my starter, my Scooby. 
and that's kind of what it looks. Some of you that have done this before, like, yeah, you should add a little more um, sweet tea covering that, but that's why I want to do this kind of, this one's only been hanging out for a day or two, so I think we're gone. I think we're strong enough. I'm going to take about half of this off. This is a half gallon jar, and the nice thing about this jar, too, you have cup measurements, and it surprisingly evaporated quite a bit. I had, had two cups in here, but we're not quite there, but I'm going to pour some of that off. I'm going to take one of my Scoobies for a actually for to do this and start this but we're gonna get going with that so I'm leaving about half in there and I'll probably make some more tea just to top that off so I got a good base and that'll start our what they know as the Scooby Hotel I'm just watching the clock at this point so considering I got four minutes to go I'm gonna wait for my tea to steep and I'm gonna excuse me come back with you all right we're back so next have my tea's over there and it's steeping and I'm gonna add my sugar, so I got one cup sugar there. So basically, I pull my tea bag out, and I'll probably I'll bring that over to show you. I'm also gonna make a little more starter tea or sweet tea to cap this guy off. So right now, I'm gonna add my sugar over to my steep tea. I just dump that in there, and I stir that up a little bit. So now let's let that hang out a little bit, let it dissolve in itself a little bit. Last time I kind of did that too quick and it worked fine. But the next step we pretty much, once the sugar is dissolved, we pour that into this. And then what? Basically add eight cups of filtered water. So do I have that? No, so I need some filtered water. I'm gonna grab my four cup measuring deal again. Again, I'm just gonna take it off my fridge. So obviously that's a little slow, but there's four cups there. They say to add the, once sugar is dull, pour tea, mix your job, then add eight cups of filtered water. I don't know if that really matters. It's a different way. It doesn't seem like it would matter to me. So let's see what happens. I'm going to reverse the steps. I'm going to throw my water in there right away. There's... Obviously, four cups, I need eight. So that allows me to get ahead a little quicker. Okay, so this will bring us to eight. And like I say, I'm reversing the steps. And I don't really understand why that that's a big deal. So I have eight cups there. I'm going to add four more cups in. We added a cup of sugar. Well, once we add the starter, we'll be about three quarter cups to there. And we should be good. I'm boiling another one off because like I say, I'm going to make a little more sweet tea. And that might be insane too, but what I'm doing on that one, since I got that full bag, I know it's going to lose a little strength, but I'm just throwing it in about two and a half cups of water because I want to make about two and a half cups sweet tea because when I pull this one out, I want to cover that pretty good, and I think that way, with using my tea bag again, and considering there's a lot in there, it should be good. I'm experimenting, and I don't see where this is going to be an issue with having that little extra, or the water switching it other ways. So we got eight cups filtered water in there. We got four cups plus a cup of sugar. What are we talking? Eight and five, 13 cups. So next step, let's check that sugar water with tea. That is relatively dissolved in there. I got a little stickage on the bottom, but try to not make a mess. Now I'm just scraping a little extra sugar out of there. I, I got some sugar sitting there, so maybe we get a really fancy here. Let's brush some of that off. I had that same problem last time. 
you know, when I read it, it, it's not exact science, and I think I'm probably overkilling here, so we got all our tea in there, and, and all the kombucha bucha forms are like, it's not, everybody does it differently, but we're supposed to be about three quarters full, you can see that, obviously half is in here, um, I'm going to give it, I'm going to take this, I'm going to give this a little spin, just so we have consistent temp in there. And I'm just going to steal that guy. Now the fun part, we're, and I don't mean that wrongly, I'm going to take my starter and I'm going to take half of him and my other Scooby, our, our culture. And of course we want clean hands and I don't want my towel all dirty. And I'm kind of guessing that I can make a little mess here. So I'm going to take this guy and we want to, I'm going to pour about half of this in. All this is is my rubber bland, band and the cloth. So this will be fun. There's two of them. I'm just going to dump them both in there. Kind of looks gross and I'll show you that. but. So that was our whole culture, and ideally I didn't want to do that, but easy way to get them out. So I got both of them in there. Kind of smells vinegary as it should. And kind of coming apart here like we want it to. Here's both Scoobies. So that's the new one. I'm going to take this one, smaller baby one, hope you see that. And I'm just going to slide, drop him. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to throw this guy in there because that's our, our original one. You can see how nice this Scooby went. I'm going to take about half of that and you can see I'm dripping here. And I don't care about the stuff falling in so I'm going to say that's about half. And I want enough to cover this guy at least so like I say I'm making a little extra sweet tea for this guy so I'm going to drop him in kind of gently. Well, as gently as I can. And starter tea wise we're actually sitting here pretty good I think. So you can kind of see there, I got my hotel, I got my young Scooby in there. It's kind of covered. You can't smell this really vinegary smell this is supposed to be. Some people think it's kind of grody, but this one's actually, I'm going to get rid of this mess. First I misplaced my towel. So this one is actually going to be a little hotel. So watch one. This one here. But I want to top that one off a little bit more. This obviously looks a little nasty. Got a little purple stuff there. I want to give, I don't want to beat my culture up here, but I'll give this a little spin. We did everything right. It should come together and it should be fine. So we added the water, filter water, the culture, the sugar, and we want to place the cloth on it. And I, I should have checked him. But I'm a little warmer than we want to be. But I think we'll be fine. We're sitting at 84. I don't think that's going to be enough to kill our culture. Obviously that's a little hotter than we want. But what they recommend doing this, I believe if I remember correctly, is right around that 75 degree mark so we're about 10 degrees higher and to start this out I think we'll be fine and we could have let it cool a little more but I'm not too worried about it if it don't work it don't work and the reason why I'm saying that too is we have another Scooby so if I I mess this one up we'll be fine so all I'm going to do is move that guy over and of course I had to get a little water on my pot and, and that's about it. I'm going to take my marker and this is, I don't even know how to say that, Sencha tea blend. So I'm going to write that on my jar. So in theory, it should work. And I basically just kind of wanted to give you a rundown of how this kind of works. I'm going to top this guy off.
with some sweet tea and I'm gonna call it good and we'll see how that one looks I mean it looks kind of nasty with that new uh, culture in there but you can cut those and switch them around so we'll probably do it like these ones look really nice you know this is the little baby one and we should be ready to roll um, hope you enjoyed this video again obviously it's not perfect I gotta double check that temp maybe I blew it maybe it was too hot but I, I really think we're gonna be fine and more kombucha to come and I'll do a bottling video if this one turns out so looking at about seven to nine days on that guy I'm gonna top this one off a little bit until next time you know the drill please like subscribe share I'm really happy to see watch hours go up we're up to our subscribership is gaining those of you on YouTube please check out uh, Facebook page Instagram a bunch of photos there too and if you're on YouTube, please share, let people know about it, uh, more stuff to come. Next thing, videos are probably going to be some wine videos. I still got beer I want to do. It's just finding the time like everybody else. But thanks for watching. Have a great day. Till next time.